Hi everybody, welcome to S5U. We're gonna be talking about blogging this session and how blogging benefits your business. Um, now, a lot of you are probably in a content package that includes blogging already, and um, but it's kind of one of those things that we don't uh, get as excited about as we do some of our other things. We, don't, we, get, we talk a lot about Facebook posts and Twitter and LinkedIn and things like that. Um, but blogging really is important, and that's why it's a foundation foundational piece of just about every content package that we sell. So a lot of you are probably getting blogs already, and um, we thought this was a great opportunity to talk about why we think they're important, and um, also kind of jumpstart some things that you could do to um, increase the blog impact that your blogs are having. So um, as we're going through this today, I want you to think about um, you know anything that might relate to your industry that you might want us to uh, focus on for a blog. And if you want to shoot an idea over to us here at social uh, content at social five.com, you're always welcome to and we can put together a blog for you on whatever topic you may want. So uh, we'll hop into this. So here's, we're just going to run through some of the things that blogs do for your business. So one of the big things is that they show your personality. So um, a website and, and even an about page on your website really can't compare with a blog when it comes to showing the personality of your business. It's really a chance to share your unique voice. And um, the reason for that is because you just have so much more space to do it in, right? If you're going to be blogging, you have, you know, pages and pages and pages instead of just this short little about me section. Um, it really gives you a chance to touch on topics that are of interest to you and things that you're passionate about. Um, you can also talk about things that are facing your industry, concerns from your clients or prospects, things like that. So it's really a chance to personalize things and, and show a little more of your business. Um, a lot of times we see on where people have a website you know, you want to keep your website content really tight. You're looking for those short messages that get across what you do. Um, but then when people want to delve a little deeper, a blog is a really great option so that they can learn more about you, see that personality, and, and get a better feel for you as a company. Um, another great thing that a blog does is it supports your social channels. So, you know, we do a lot of sharing of photos and articles and, and other kind of cool stuff that we see on social media. Um, but blogs are really a chance to share completely original content. And that's um, something we do here a lot at Social Five. You know, we do share photos and, um, you know, things like that that are trending. We just talked in the last session about, you know, we like to share recipes because people love those and stuff like that. Um, but blogs are a really great way to show that content that's completely original, um, totally new something that's only for your business. And um, so that's what we do when we write those blogs. Is, you know, they're all written by our writing team for your business and our original content that way. Um, they're also a great space saver. Um, if you need to go on a rant about something, do it in your blog instead of, uh, and link to it on your social channels instead of posting, you know, a giant string of tweets, right? I don't know if you guys have ever seen that, but someone will go off on a rant and it'll be like tweet one of 40 or something like that because they are limited to 140 characters. Or you'll see it on Facebook where someone has written a long, long post and um, you, know, you have to hit the keep reading button and it just, you know, it takes up your whole screen and then you have to scroll down or whatever. Um, those types of posts aren't really the place to, to post something like that. Um, and obviously you don't need to rant on your social media channels anyway, but anytime you want to post longer content is, is going to be a great time to do it on your blog and you can uh, then link to it on your social channels so that people can read more. The other thing that's great is they provide um, great content for your email marketing campaign. Um, that's part of what we use them for here is we always include a link to your blog on our, on our email uh, blast that we send out for you. And just a really great way to, to touch base with people. Again, you know, we forget that email marketing uh, or the email is still the largest social medium uh, out there. And so, I mean, there's billions and billions of email addresses out there on the planet and a lot of people have email and maybe don't have another social channel. So again, another great way to connect with them, give them some content that they could see on your social channels through a blog that way. It's also a really great way to show your expertise. Um, blogs are a really great way to show that you're an expert in whatever field you may be in. And if you're doing consistent blogging, it really establishes you as like a thought leader in that field and shows that, you know, you're up to date on what's going on. You really know what's happening in that industry. 
um, and just really establishes you as, as a great authoritative source. And again, that's the same thing with your blog. You want people to be following it and reading it so that they go like, hey, this is good information and, and I want to stick with it. Um, the other nice thing about this is that getting that extra bit of kind of gravitas that comes with um, having it, being an expert and, and showing, establishing yourself that way is that it can really pay off because it keeps you kind of top of mind for your client. So when they are ready to buy or, uh, you know, complete a transaction, you're the one that they think of, that they trust you, they know that you have the experience and things like that. So really great way to kind of sell yourself and, and market yourself as an expert in your industry. Um, another great thing about blogging is that it shows that you're open for business. Um, I found this picture here of this abandoned gas station and uh, I would imagine that these people do not have a current blog going. Um, if you are going to blog, it's really important that you update it regularly. Now, obviously, if you've got a Social 5 content package that includes blogging, we're doing that for you twice a month automatically. So no worries there. Um, but you want to make sure that you're updating it because a stagnant blog can make people think that you're not in business any longer. Um, I find this all the time when I'm uh, when we're going out to help companies. We'll look at their blog and, you know, um, I looked at one the other day that hadn't been updated since like June of last year. So that's months and months that they've gone without posting any new content. And if I was looking at their website and I saw, okay, well, their, you know, their website looks okay, but gosh, I looked at their blog and they haven't posted anything for a really long time. It can make me wonder if they're even open for business. Um, and that's kind of the, the new reality of the internet age that we live in is that if you're up, your contact information and things like that are not up to date online, people start to wonder if you're, if you're really there. Same with having a face. It's, it's like if you go to look for a business and they don't have a Facebook page, people are starting to feel like, gosh, they, they must not actually exist or they've closed or something. On the other hand, if you have a really robust blog that is updated often, it shows that you're open, you're ready for business, and it can kind of help increase your conversion rate that way because people see that and they go, oh, well, they're really on top of it. They've, you know, they must be paying someone to blog for them. They, they must be doing really well. Okay, I'll go there. So um, really shows that, um, and, and same with, you know, consistent posting on any social channel, but shows that you're open, that you're doing something and that, um, you know, you haven't gone stagnant and closed your business or something like that. Um, this is an interesting one and that is really unique to blogging, is that it can aid in these long tail searches. And I don't know if any of you guys have ever done a search like this before, but this is where blogs really shine. Um, and it increases the chance that you're going to um, pull up during a search for a specific phrase because your blog will answer whatever query that is. And I've got this little whale search thing here for, to help you remember long tailed searches. Obviously whales don't have that long of a tails, but they do have tails. So I hope that helps you remember. Um, so um, here's an example. So your business might not show up, you know, if, if you're not doing a lot for SEO or whatever, um, you might not show up very high in a, in a general search for something like carpet cleaning, right? Um, but if someone Googles something like how to get red wine stains out of carpet and you have a blog about that, your blog is going to be what shows up. Um, obviously, it's going to be ranked with all the other search results for that too. But if you have that exact phrase and you keep blogging consistently, um, it's going to help with those long tail searches where people type in some crazy query and you have a blog that answers it on your, on your site. Very cool. Another thing that blogging helps with is it just overall helps you get more leads. Um, research has shown that, you know, consistent, really consistently over time, that having more content on your site equals more leads. Now, obviously, um, the people who are going to get like tons and tons of leads for this, I think the study I was just looking at had, it was like, if you had like 600 pages of content on your page, obviously that's a ton of content and you're probably a pretty big company if you have that much. But even if you had, you know, as many as like 50 pieces of content on your page, that adds up over time. And so, um, you know, if you've been blogging consistently for a little while, you have an about me section, things like that, you're going to really start racking those up pretty quickly to have those more, um, more uh, pages and, and hits on your site. Now, why does that translate to more leads, right? So the reason is because 
as you create that new content and you're having more pages added and things like that, you're going to have more form submissions, more people opting in for email, more quote requests and things like that. And then eventually translates into more leads for you. So, um, you know, every time you're posting a blog and it has an option to join our email list or things like that, someone is probably going to take advantage of that. And, and you'll slowly see those leads start to trickle in. Another thing that's really important about um, blogging is it helps you stay fresh. Um, now, we talked about that with your business and, and the appearance of it. The other thing that's really important about staying fresh is that search engines are always looking for new content. So by posting new things on a regular basis, you're really increasing your chances of being found. So, um, you know, those Google, we call them like the Google spiders and things like that. They're out, always out there crawling the web looking for that new content that they can now add into search results because they want to give you fresh and consistent content. You know, you may have ha had a really great article on your blog back in 2013 about, you know, it, maybe it's the gold standard for your industry, but because new content is being posted between now and then, you're going to get missed, even if your article is the best one. So they're always looking for something new. So that's another really important aspect here is that you want to be posting new content constantly so that you stay fresh and that those web spiders can find you. The last thing I want to talk about here is SEO. And uh, that's a big one when it comes to blogging. Um, SEO, increased SEO is probably the greatest benefit you can see to blogging. But it does have some stipulations um, that, that kind of can be limiting. So the first one is that the content must be on your actual website. So now a lot of you have um, uh, blogs that we've created for you that aren't on your website because maybe you have a static website that you don't have access to change. And instead you're using our mobile site to blog, right? Um, all, of our, all of the blogs we do for you get posted on the mobile site. So that's, it's still really great and it gives you fresh content and makes you look relatable and cool and new and does all these other things that we've been talking about but it doesn't really help necessarily with this SEO component. And the other thing about um, using a, you know, a blog for SEO is that it really needs to be enhanced for SEO. We actually have a special team of writers here at Social Five who um, do, you know, we have the regular team of writers who write your regular content. They're the ones who write the regular blogs and things like that. And then we have this special division that does SEO, and part of that is they do these SEO enhanced blogs. And what they do is they um, write the blog. They, they have like a list of key phrases that they need to work into the content in the blog. And it's actually really kind of hard. It's, um, I, I saw something the other day on a, a contest that a radio station here was doing. And they were, it's a film contest. And you ha they have a whole list of items that you need to put in the film. So it was like you need to feature a, a, you know, this book and a hat and this weird thing and a rubber chicken or something like that, you know, and you had to put these all in your movie that you're making for this film festival. And it's the same idea with these SEO enhanced blogs. We have this long list of phrases that need to be incorporated, but at the same time, you don't want it just to be a list of phrases in your blog, right? Like, that's boring, no one wants to read it. So that's what this team of writers does, is they really work those phrases into those blogs so that they make sense, that they sound really good, sound professional, but still have those keyword phrases that people are going to be, that the search engines are going to be looking for. So um, something I wanted to talk about just here quickly is if you don't have, you know, your blog coming to your website, what are some options you have if you, because you want to get that SEO benefit. So if, if you don't have that blog on your website, you do have a few other options. So one thing you can do is you can copy and paste the content from your mobile site over to your um, existing or, or over to your existing website. So if you have a, a blog spot on your website that um, you, you know you have access to and you can change, you can totally do that. Grab the stuff off your mobile site, pop it in there, no problem. The other thing you can do is if you have a WordPress um, website, you can have us install a WordPress plugin. And the cool part about that is that it will automatically then update your blog onto your website that way. And then the last thing you can do is you could add an SEO package onto your um, website, um, or you can just add some standalone SEO blogs. And the reason I want to mention this is that it's a really easy um, and pretty affordable way to do it. You can get, um, we have a package where you can get two 
uh, SEO enabled blogs for $149. And those will be posted directly on your website. Um, you know, we take care of all that for you. And, and the blogging, the SEO blogging team has written those. Now, obviously, you don't need to do any of these things. I just wanted to throw them out there as options because a lot of people do want blogging to be part of their SEO strategy. And um, but if you you know if you have a website that you don't have access to change, maybe you had it built for you, and you know to update it would cost you a ton of money or something. Please don't be worried about this. This is just options if you're interested. Okay, nothing to worry about. You're still going to be getting a ton of other benefits from your blogging. Um, you just won't be getting the full SEO impact. So, um, all right, well with that in mind, that's all I have for today. Obviously we kind of kept it short and sweet because um, I know not everybody gets as excited about blogging as I do. Um, but with that in mind, we'll take your questions if anybody has any. Um, again, I, I just hope you, you know, we tend to kind of undersell blogs a little bit and not talk about them as much as we do our other types of content, but they really are pretty powerful and um, a really great tool. Um, let me see here. Oh, it looks like I've got a raised hand. Okay. What is the cost for getting a plug, the WordPress plugin? I don't remember off the top of my head. I should have looked that up before we started. I'm so sorry. Um, it's just a one-time fee and it's pretty, um, pretty reasonable, I want to say. Um, I've got a question here from Kelly. She's asking, will these webinars be posted on YouTube to rewatch in the future? And yes, they will. I'm going to get them up here later today. So um, it usually takes me about an hour to get the files processed and um, converted and everything, and then we can get them up. So they should be up later this afternoon. All right. Looks like we've got another question here. What are the best places for finding keyword phrases to use in blogs? Great question. So um, the best thing that we found is, um, is you start to go to Google, like somewhere like Google, and you start typing in a phrase, see what else pops up. So, you know, if I, uh, you know, now, and some of them can be kind of crazy that you don't want to include, um, but you, uh, you know, can go in and start typing in your search query and you'll see that different things come up. And you want to start thinking about what people would be looking for if they're looking for your business, right? So if you're like an event planner or something, um, you might start typing in weddings or, um, you know, catering or something along those lines. Um, whatever people might, you know, just logically search for when they search for you would be what you want to include. Now, obviously, um, I am not one of the SEO blogging specialists, so it's not my area of expertise. But they're going to be really good at that, and they have some tools that they can pull and uh, look at consistent you know, keyword searches for your industries and things like that so that they know what's going to be important. And then another part of it is that, we'll, um, that you also want to think about what your goals are. You know, do you want to be found for a specific purpose versus you know, something generic? So, um, those of you who were, who were just in our last uh, session, or no, we just talked about this just five minutes ago, sorry, uh, about the long tail searches. So if there's any long tail searches like that that you, um, you know, want people to find you for, you want to make sure you're including those in your blog too. So, all right, any other questions? Okay. Well, obviously blogs are something we get excited about, but we don't talk about nearly enough. So I hope that was helpful to you guys to see, you know, why we include these in, in our content packages, because they really are powerful. And even if you're not getting that full SEO benefit, there's still a lot of benefits from blogging. You know, it really does help to, to have that fresh, relatable content. and really makes you look, um, you know, like you know, you're an industry expert. Um, Okay, and we've got a, a question about what is the cost of an SEO package? And those vary quite a bit. Um, if you're interested in that, please let me know. Um, shoot us an email over at support at social5.com and we can get um, your salesperson in touch with you. Because it does vary depending on whether you want, um, you know, if you're a brick and mortar business versus a, um, a online only business and some things like that. And then there's several different package levels and things like that. So, um, you know, if, again, that's, that's part of why I included those blogs in here is if you don't want to buy a whole SEO package and go for a whole thing, that blog package is a nice option because it's, you know, $149 
and you get the two blogs on, on your website. So kind of a nice in-between solution there. Um, but if you're interested in, in upgrading to a full SEO package, we can totally do that for you, and I promise you'll get some amazing results from it. So if that's something you're interested in, just shoot us an email over at support at social5.com, and we can um, talk to you a little bit more and get a better feel for what exactly it is you're looking for. All right. Well, thank you. Oh, it looks like we've got one more. Oh, done. Okay, sorry. I already answered that one. All right. Well, I'll go ahead and get these uh, sessions posted for you guys, so you're welcome to watch them again anytime. And again, we'll be back uh, in two weeks with some more great sessions for you. So we'll see you in April. Thanks so much.